Got an older Yardman 21 inch lawnmower here. Uh, it's a self propelled mower rear bagger. I've only had it for a few hours so I don't really know that much about it. Uh, what I do know is it won't start. It's got a broken spark plug. As you can see here, uh, part of the spark plug is still in the spark plug cap. It's got a problem with a pull, pull start. Uh, supposed to be a, a metal piece here uh, but it's fallen out and this rope is kind of eating the plastic away and sometimes it binds up when you pull on it so I've got to fix that. I think what I'm going to do is, is a series of videos about getting this uh, mower started and running correctly. Uh, for this first video I think I'm going to do a, a compression test uh, just trying to get a, a general idea of the condition of the engine and also pull that gas tank off and see if I can make it a little easier to pull that uh, pull start cord. The model number for this engine is TBS105. If you look at the engine shroud here, there's a long string of uh, characters here. Uh, the first set of characters, the TBS105, is the uh, model number. And you can use that model number to go online and find uh, re uh, free repair manuals for uh, Tecumseh engines. Uh, to start, I want to remove this uh, gas tank and take a look at this, this uh, recoil pull start and see what I, if I can uh, make it a little easier to pull. It's just held on by three bolts. Uh, it's also a good time to check the oil, make sure it's got some oil in it. Um, the oil is a little low, it's at the add mark, but it's clean. Remove that. Lift this off. And you can see this was this wasn't helping. This is that middle piece that fell out of the plastic piece that's fallen into the, the recoil here. And I'm gonna take that off and get rid of it. And that should help a little. And set that back on. Now I'm going to uh, test the compression. I'm going to remove this spark plug. Set that aside. Uh, get the need to find the correct correct adapter for the the plug hole, and you can see it's this one here. I need to install that. Just finger tight. Then I can uh, attach the compression gauge. And take a reading. I've lowered the lift so I can get a better pull on the uh, pull cord. Um, I'm going to pull the pull the pull cord a few times and, and take a compression reading. Um, before you do that, make sure you have the throttle wide wide open so the engine can breathe. Uh, Right now it's about 100 psi, uh, which is good. Uh, I'm going to pull it a little bit more and see how high I can get it. Uh, it's about 110, so yeah, that's not bad. It's enough to start it. For the next video, I think I'll uh, get a new spark plug, uh, gap it, make sure this engine's getting spark, um, install the plug, maybe clean out the gas tank and inspect the fuel lines, uh, and uh, definitely add uh, engine oil so that the oil's full. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix this uh, pull, pull start problem because I think it's going to be hard to find this piece. This, this is basically you have to replace the whole gas tank, uh, but maybe I can think of something to, to fix this so it doesn't bind anymore. But anyway, um, hope you uh, found the video helpful and thank you for watching.